So, on my strapping video, my beer strapping video that I posted a while back, uh, I messed up on uh, explaining some things. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a revisitation of that video. Let's go strap some beer. What's up guys, Texas Born Trucker here. We're revisiting my strapping video because I, I don't think I put enough information in there, especially when it came to my reason why I do what I do. So we're gonna, I'm gonna explain that today in much greater detail. It is July 13th, a Wednesday, at 8.07 on the East Coast. I feel like I'm at home because it is humid out here today. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started on this. But one thing I want you to take into consideration while I am doing this load is each of these pallets are 30 pack cases of natural light beer in bottles in cardboard cases. Take that into consideration and tell me if you can guess why I do what I do before I tell you. Pause it and put it in the comments and tell me what your timestamp was. And I guess that's proof you could lie, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna strap this real quick and I'm gonna give you a better explanation as to why I do it. Remember, they want us to do one across the top and one across the bottom. And I don't do that. I do an X. Let's do it. bottle cases of beer. They are stacked on top of each other and wrapped in maybe two layers of super thin plastic. Super thin. Thinner than a piece of paper. And it's wrapped maybe twice. On a good day, it's wrapped twice. And as I said in my last video, my physics brain is telling me, but you're gonna get more this time, is that if you only strap across the top and across the bottom, how are you gonna protect the, the beer that goes all the way across the middle? Cardboard, cardboard on cardboard is really slippery. Have you ever taken, if you don't know how slippery it is, go find a old box or something and rip off two parts and rub it together. Put it on the ground and put your foot on it and slide it. I've slipped on cardboard that has been stacked on top of each other before. This is no different. It's super thin cardboard with a decal on it. So, the reason I do it is to keep the whole pallet guarded, not just the top and bottom because I've seen plenty of drivers that have come through to drop their load off and the whole middle is blown out, whereas the top was, isn't protecting anymore because the beer that was up here is now on the floor. So, it protects the middle. And that's why I do it. I feel like that's 
pretty common sense if you ask me, but whatever. But yeah. All right, guys, that was my revisit and explanation of why I actually do this. Let me know what you think in the comments, like I said last time. Let me know if you think I'm right or wrong. But yeah, that's why I do it. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. I'm actually about to film my weights video to show y'all how to weigh these tractor trailers out. 12 on the steers, 34 on the drives, 34 on the tandems. See ya.